I bet one of the biggest challenges that you have in the morning when you get up is what to put in the kids' lunch boxes. Well, I have some suggestions today that I think are kind of fun. In fact, I'd like to take some of these to my office for lunch. A healthy lunch, first of all, doesn't have to be boring. And uh, I think that you just have to be creative and you have to sort of know what your kid's going to eat. One of the nicest things that I remember making for my daughter is a stuffed apple. Just cut off the top, scoop out the center, including the core, with a melon baller. This works very nicely. And we have some delicious chicken salad here. Alexis used to love white meat of chicken. You can also use a little stripper to put an initial on the side of the apple. It takes an instant to put an A for Alexis. Little A. And then you stuff the apple with a nice amount of chicken salad. Put this in a little container, cover it over, keep it cold until the lunch is packed and whisked off to school. And a little ice pack, of course, goes into every single one of the little lunch boxes. So that's one idea. Another idea is using unusual breads for sandwiches. And this pita bread has always been one of my favorites. And I know that your child really doesn't like to get a soggy sandwich. Interline one piece with another. And fill, this is a really good old-fashioned homemade egg salad. And fill just the inner pocket. Now that's plenty of egg salad. Now sprinkle it, if they like salt, with a little bit of salt. And if they like pepper, with a little bit of pepper. And if your child loves ham and cheese or just the typical plain sandwich, and I know there are still a lot of kids that like that, you can make it a little bit special. You can just cut off the crusts and cut the sandwich into fingers or into nice little tea sandwich triangles and wrap them in plastic wrap or waxed paper or into a sandwich bag or you can be even a little bit more fancy if you don't mind a little bit of waste and use a big cookie cutter to cut right through and make some festive shapes. Don't tell the children that you're doing this. Just remember that the surprise is part of the fun. And when they open up and they have a beautiful clover or a star, they'll feel rather special. Remember to wrap these well and keep them cool in the lunchbox. And for an added treat, you can make a little cucumber on a straw and you can just add a pretty brilliant cherry tomato right on the end, and you have a healthy and unusual crunchy caterpillar. And my daughter would love this because it's crunchy, fresh vegetable sticks that you cut up at home and a healthy dip in the center. This is so good, and you can use these little plastic containers so that the dip doesn't spill on everything. And cover this over. These stay impeccably fresh until lunchtime. And I know that everybody's gonna come over and try to eat this at your child's table. Fruit too is very, very important. And an orange is so easy to eat in sections if it's pre-opened. And that's real easy. Just with the point of a sharp knife, score down to the flesh. Cut a little bit of the top off. and peel it back. It takes you a couple seconds and it makes your child's life a lot easier. Apples turn brown, so if your child really requires apple slices in the lunchbox, make sure that you rub the cut pieces of the apple with a little bit of fresh lemon, but I think a shiny apple like that is more appealing. And oh, don't forget the juice boxes. They're convenient, they're shatterproof, and they're environmentally friendly. And if you send them to school frozen, these will act as 
nice little ice packs to keep the rest of the lunch cool. By the time lunch rolls around, the juice will be ready to drink. They are great. And don't forget, too, a little name tag. These are laminated name tags with a favorite image on the back. And this way your child will know that he has not lost his lunchbox when everybody else has a purple Arctic Zone pack at the same table. And I have one other very interesting thing to show you. Little snacks. Little special things that tell your child that you love him or you love her. Look at these cute little bracelets. A little piece of elastic, a Fruit Loop bracelet, and here it says, smile, love mom. Cheerios, if you want to cut down on the sugar. A lollipop, too. If that child of yours is going to be taking a spelling test, for example, write a little message on a little tag like this. Tie it to the lollipop. It tells your child that you're thinking of them, makes them feel important, and it's just a simple lollipop. Oh, and this is fun. This coupon is good for one ice cream after school. And you can make sure that you arrange with the local store that upon presentation, this will give a nice little ice cream cone to your kid. And of course, don't forget another special treat, baseball cards for those who just are crazy about baseball. A Mark McGuire card would be very nice. And, oh, I love this because I think that uh, if they have a little study period, they've done all their homework, a little puzzle, word search puzzle for kids, invaluable surprise. Tucking in these little surprises for your children in their lunchbox is sure to bring a great big smile. It's a good thing. And they'll be thinking of you as much as you're thinking of them.